these early ones are fairly simple. Hopefully you're more than half done with your lab. Your lab will be due on Tuesday, the day of the test. I want to talk a little bit about this one right here, which has stumped some people in previous years. And I have a few questions I'd like to ask, and I'd like you to discuss with your partner the answers to these questions. The first question I have for you is, if you know the dimensions of the matrix, how can you calculate the center of the circle? That's the first question. The second question I need to ask is, if I have two coordinates on a coordinate plane, xy coordinates, how can I figure out what the distance is between those two points? How do I do that? Think back to your algebra classes. And second, what I need to know is, what is the mathematical definition of a circle? So please discuss those three things with your partners right now. Okay, how do I find the center of a circle if I know the dimensions of the outer matrix? Mr. Angad, what do you think, sir? Half the height and half the width is correct. So if I have a 50 by 40 matrix, it will be 25, 20 would be the center of the circle. Next, if I, forgetting about the circle for a second, if I have two points on a grid, XY grid, or RC grid, doesn't really matter, how do I calculate the distance between those two points? We use the distance formula from algebra, and if the points are X1, Y1, and X2, Y2, can you quote me the distance formula tomorrow? So this is the old distance formula. You're going to need this distance formula frequent, much more frequently in life than you realize. Any kind of a STEM career, it's going to come up a lot. Okay, so that is the distance formula right there. And you're going to use that. Why are you going to use that? See if you can figure out why you would need the distance formula. If I give you a radius here of some number, how is the distance formula going to determine which pixels are on and which pixels are off? Imagine you're in a loop and you're evaluating every single point in this two-dimensional grid and you're trying to make a yes-no decision on that point. Should I turn the pixel on or should I turn the pixel off? Here, the pixels that are turned on are in green and the pixels that are turned off are in yellow. And what I want to know is, as I start to parse this two-dimensional array from left to right, from top to bottom in my nested loop, how am I going to know which pixels to turn on and which pixels to turn off? Here's what you're given. You're given the dimensions of the matrix. You've already calculated the center of the circle, and you're also given the circum sorry, the radius of the circle. You're given that as a number. How can you use that information to determine which cells to turn on and which cells to turn off? Please discuss with your partner. This distance formula, in case you don't realize it, is actually another formula that you learned all the way back in grammar school. This distance formula is actually the Pythagorean theorem. It's just kind of well disguised. So what's happening here is if we have an XY grid and we have two points on there, this calculates one of the, this is the base of the triangle, this is the height of the triangle, and then we basically are doing A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that's really what's happening here. That's where the distance formula comes from. And we're using it here for a slightly unusual purpose. We're trying to use it to determine when should we turn the pixels on and when should we turn them off. So you discuss with your partner as you go through the nested loop, how you're going to decide whether to turn it on or off. This picture right over here. Can you tell me, sir, if I'm evaluating some random point, look at this point right here that my cursor is on right there, sir. And I'm trying to figure out whether to turn that pixel on or off. What do I, what decision criteria do I use to figure out whether that pixel that my cursor is on right now should be on or off? So can you explain to me using English language terms whether you want to turn that pixel on or off? Okay, it's outside the circle. So how can you tell if a point is outside the circle? Can you tell me what the mathematical definition of a circle is? I'll give you a hint, sir. It involves the word locus. Uh, Mr. Sneed, sir, look at where my point is on my on my uh, uh, diagram here. I, I've got this point right here, and uh, Mr. Baker has already explained to us that we need to turn that point on because it's outside the circle. If this point right here that I'm pointing to is called X1, Y1, how can I tell that X1, Y1 is outside the circle? Okay, so it's a locus of points that is equidistant from a certain point, in this case the center. 
So these points over here on the edge of the circle, right here, are all a radius distance r from the center. So how can we tell if a particular point is going to be inside the circle or outside the circle? What calculation do we do? OK, we just check to see if the distance from the center, remember you calculate the center of the circle. If we check that distance, that now that if the center point is x, c, r, uh, y, c, then we just use this simple formula. And we use the distance formula to calculate how far is the point from the center of the circle. And if this d value is greater than the r value, we know we need to turn the point on.